So, so as time goes on, um, early and you're playing golf, your teenage years going into high school and stuff, you're getting to play a lot of events, I guess, around the world. seems like yeah. to be a member of the national team, you're competing in golf. At what point did you think that you wanted to pursue it at a higher level? Like you eventually played college golf and then now you're playing professional golf, but when did it come on? Um, so for me, that ter- like, The thought of me being able to maybe play professionally came um, after the World Am in Japan. That was my first time, I think, playing the World Am for the Netherlands. And my team, it was myself and Van Damme. And, oh, shoot. I think it was Romy. But for the purposes, this story is mainly about Anne. (laughs) <laughs> um and played super well like super well I think she got a top 10 and I believe that that's when she decided I think I'm good enough to turn professionally and I want to I mean Anne has always been like ever since I've known her which is probably since I was 13 or so um has been very set on turning professional and winning tournaments and being on the LPGA and whatnot like her purpose in life since like <laughs> I've known her was to be a professional golfer yeah, yeah. Um, and that really for me wasn't the case for a long time. Like I just I just wanted to compete basically. And golf was an outlet for me to like do that in. But playing the world am seeing and compete and doing so well, and then um kind of like measuring myself with all the other girls that were there and seeing the kind of lifestyle that they were living, I was like, oh being here in Japan in like a complete like other side of the world for me meeting all these people like competing in the highest level I actually really like this and up until that point I don't think I ever thought of like training professionally or going to college for that matter I mean going to college yes going to college in the U.S. not so much mm. um, and so I think on the plane right back Anne told me she was going to turn professionally and she was going to uh, play the LET to, or play LETQ score or something like that. And it got me thinking as like, I think that's what I eventually also want to do. I just, I know that I'm not ready yet. Mm-hmm. And that's what made me then look for college coaches that would have me on their team. What age was this? Uh, I must have been like 18, like super late. Like I kind of <laughs> decided before that tournament that I was going to quit golf and like go to law school, basically. In and the Netherlands? Yeah, in the Netherlands, like the U.S. was not really on my radar up until that point. That's incredible. I think I must have been like 17 or 18. Like I was very late in high school. Like I know that most people start looking for colleges in their sophomore year or so. Um, that was not the case for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's incredible. So then what was like, I guess there was not much of a recruiting process. Well, how did that work out? Did you No, so my you- recruiting process. So... I mean, so I play the world am and there's usually coaches there. And then I play since I was probably 15. I played like every European team championship and every like European individual championship. And there's always coaches there. But the funny thing is like coaches would go to our like national coach or as I like grew older, they would come up to me and they're like, hey, this is our program. This is our team. We would love to have you. We have scholarships available. (laughs) And basically every time I just said like, no, I'm not interested. And so after the World M in Japan, I was like, I started emailing all these coaches back, right? So I was like, hey, remember me from like two years ago and you offered me a scholarship? Um, And they were all like, yeah, that's gone. So that failed. And then my idea was to just make a very generic email with like, I left like some blank spaces in there. And I would like try to personalize it right? and send it to like, I think I must have sent it to like every co- head coach of a college that was like in the top 50 on the NCAA ranking. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, didn't get that many responses, but the responses that I did get, um, I just like, I started talking to those coaches and eventually like I went to two universities that I was really looking at and it was Miami and South Carolina 
and then I chose Miami because I thought the transition for me coming from the Netherlands to Miami would be easier than the transition from the Netherlands to like Columbia, South Carolina.